Hi everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's House of Sparkle. In this video, we're gonna be recreating my hollow cutie look, but we're gonna be using Acri Gel. I'll be using Gelic by Nail Necessities, and I'm gonna go straight in on my practice tip with a thin layer of the base coat. I'll be using the tool that they send you. It's got one end's got a spatula, the other end's got a brush. I'm using the shade Rose and just using some isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out as much product as I think I'll need to create the smile line first. I'm gonna dampen the brush end of my tool in the isopropyl alcohol just so the product doesn't stick to my brush. So I'm just going in with my brush and I'm going to push and pull the product where I want it. I'm paying close attention to the cuticle area and side walls. The beauty of this product is you're not against the clock. You can push it and play with it until you're happy with it. It doesn't cure until you put it in the lamp. So I'm just forming my smile line now using my brush. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure. I've just refined the shape of that smile line a little bit with my file and now I'm going to add some more base coat to that free edge so we've got something for the angel paper to stick to. So I'm going straight in onto that wet coat of base coat and I'm going to pick up pieces of the angel paper that I've already cut. I'm going to crisscross them over to create a fishtail plait effect. I've trimmed off the excess and now I'm going straight in with my diamond gelic. Um, this is where I think I ruined it almost. Um, I think I used far too much diamond. I made this bit too thick. Um, so in hindsight, I'd probably make this bit a lot thinner than I did. You can see just how easy this product is to move. It's not sticky. You can just push it and pat it into place with the brush and smooth it off. You're doing almost all of the work with your brush. So there really is just minimal filing. Now I've filed and buffed this nail and we're going in with everyone's favourite bit, the top coat. Love this bit, the big reveal. And here's the finished nail. I wish I'd done it a little bit thinner because I lost some of the clarity that the clear gives. Um, it looks a little bit cloudy and that's because I made it the nail a little bit too bulky. Here's this side by side view. So you have the acrylic version on the left and the acrygel version on the right. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.